everyone, Welsh win here, uh, just back from Bangkok, I'm back in Pattaya and I'm on Soy 4 Pratamnak I'm heading down to Cozy Beach and I'm going to have uh, a discussion with you today um, about living long term in Thailand and what effect that can have on you uh, physically and mentally and then I'm going to take you to a bar cafe on Beach Road which does 99 baht specials every day and uh, that includes a Sunday roast so catch you in a bit Okay guys, so I'm going to have to do this uh, somewhere quiet because uh, on Cozy Beach the tide is in and there's so much uh, noise with the uh, waves crashing that you won't be able to hear me. So, uh, right, so let's have a quick chat about living in Thailand long term and how it can affect you uh, mentally and physically. Now I've been here uh, three years on and off. Um, I go home sometimes, maybe one month a year, but um, I remember when I came here first, um, all I wanted to do was try out every bar in Patea, have a different girl most nights of the week, and I did that at the start, like many people do, um, and it's fair enough. It's something you can do for a short time, um, but when it comes then, you've been here six months, 12 months, 18 months, a lot of that gets boring. And that's when the alcohol uh, can kick in and get a grip of you. Um, I myself now, I tend to go out two or three nights a week. Um, I'll stay in for four nights, or well, I won't stay in, I'll still go out, but uh, no alcohol. Now during the day, there's enough things to do, but the problem with that after a while, you've seen the attractions, you've been here, you've been there, you've done a couple of islands, and then the islands all start to look the same. So uh, how do you combat the problem of uh, maybe boredom or feeling down? Um, many a time I pass people on the roads here, uh, the older people, full of bandages, uh, head down, uh, looking as if they're just not enjoying it at all. And it also happens to the younger ones as well. You know, maybe they run out of money or they've had a bad uh, experience with a, a Thai wife or girlfriend. And many a times on the news now you hear of people uh, jumping off balconies and it seems to be getting worse so like I said what can we do to uh, make sure you can stay here long term uh, for me I've got a motorbike a big bike I go out quite a lot during the day on that uh, see different parts of Thailand go for two or three nights here and there and then come back to Patea. Um, I also play a bit of golf which I never did back home in Wales. I might have uh, two or three games a month because that's all I can afford. Um, I think it's a good thing that you haven't got too much money out here like myself and uh, I know my limits now. Uh, I know how much I can spend I have got savings, uh, I do break into them sometimes if I want to fl fly away somewhere to another country um, or need to purchase insurance or a visa. So uh, there's plenty of things to do here, you know, sports clubs, tennis, bowls, golf, 
Um, the problem is when it gets dark and the lights come on and the girls start shouting and you see everybody else enjoying themselves. Now what you've got to realise is most of those people are tourists and they're only here for two weeks. So they, they can go crazy for two weeks and then they go home back to normal life. So life here, uh, paradise it is, but paradise can get boring after about six to twelve months. So you need really to find something to occupy yourself with. And another tip um, regarding bars. When you come here first time, you want to try every bar in Patea and jump to in. And you want to have a different girl on your arm every night. But what you need to do is uh, find an area that you like. Because what happens, you'll try different bars. You'll go into one bar and you won't like it. And then you'll drink up and leave. And the same thing will happen in the next bar you go to. There'll be something about it you're not keen on. So you'll drink that beer up. And all of a sudden you've drunk six, seven, eight beers in about an hour. So you need to find your niche place and just stick to one or two uh, local bars like you would at home. Uh, because at home you just go out on a maybe Friday and Saturday or Saturday and Sunday to the same bar. So that's the best idea um, I can give you. And uh, don't make pool your favorite sport because what you're gonna do when you play pool you're going to drink alcohol. So you need to do things guys after a while. Uh, different environments, uh, different sceneries and uh, just try and keep in budget. Uh, don't go mad uh, like you would do for the first six months. So that uh, cafe for coffee was closed so that just shows you uh, how quiet it's uh, become uh, recently a nice cup of uh, coffee there only 25 baht so really good value on side four. So it's time for a bit of lunch guys. I'm coming down uh, the one-way system now on uh, Jom Tien uh, Promenade. So I've come down to uh, Chai Prek Road and uh, I'll show you a place there where I'm gonna have something to eat. I'm in the Gold Monkey uh, Bar and Cafe on uh, Chaiapurk Road, just up from the police box uh, down on Beach Road there. And I've ordered the uh, spaghetti bolognese. Uh, they have a different um, menu every day for specials, and it's uh, 99 baht, and the cola is uh, 30 baht. What a nice surprise that was. Uh, I had the spaghetti bolognese, um, a good uh, plate full of it as well, with a nice wedge of uh, garlic bread. So where they make a profit on uh, 99 baht meals, I don't know. 
Uh, maybe it's something that started now because it's getting a bit more quiet. But uh, I'll definitely go back there for the uh, Sunday lunch as well for 99 baht. So it's the Gold Monkey Barn Cafe on Soy uh, on Chayabrek Road, uh, just off uh, Jomtien Beach Road. <coughs> Okay guys, if you enjoyed that video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all very soon. Cheers!